Okay, short video. So I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure what sequence these will come out, so I'll probably say it twice. I haven't put out a video in a little while. So I don't know if we can see it in there or not. Uh, you know, one vendor on and uh, mocked up. We're gonna mock this one up pretty quick. And still got some work to do here. I had to do some more welding in here. And then I put some glass over it, kind of gobbed it to it, and then I'll I'll bring it down. Uh, you know, 70-year-old box got some issues. Okay, so yeah, uh, Super Duty. Big old spider. So Super Duty to getting a brake job done here on the front. Uh, rotor's been on here for quite a while. You can you can see with the rust what uh what Northern New York does to uh, trucks. This is a 2013, 12 or 13, I can't remember. We've got three of them, so uh, this, I think this is the 12. And uh, um, had a sander on its back the last couple of years. That's hard on the brakes, um, that big, uh, that poly sander. So yeah, uh, other than that, truck's still in pretty good shape. Uh, they just catches uh, the Dickens underneath. So uh, I'll bring you back. Hey, there's one of those fiberglass fenders that's going on here. So, and look at if you have an open if you if you work on vehicles and you have an open spot, you're gonna collect stuff. Drills, grinders, sanders, gloves. Never throw away lock washers. Reuse them if you can. Okay. Yeah, look at that. That's the sin. It's seven o'clock here, and it's almost dark. It's coming quick. What do they say? It's getting late early. I got to really get going on all these uh, these plow trucks, and uh, I got a couple. I got a couple trucks I want to do some touch up on, and then I got to get. I never got to do much with this this summer, other than get the glass in it. So I got to get this done. I got to get there. Is little little pulsar away, and uh, I got some cleaning to do. Uh, I guess the worst rust on this truck is right here. It's bubbling right now. Uh, I don't think it's true. I think so. <clears throat> I've toyed with, I've toyed with, uh, wait, that truck dirty. I've toyed with uh, coming right up to this line and painting for everything down inside the doors again and everything and uh, letting that happen. So we'll see. I got the, I got it blocked so the front end's up. It's on jack stands right now. I let it down off the hoist. So when it looks crooked, it's supposed to be. I'm going to take her back in the air in a minute and uh, change those front brakes out. And then I will reverse the uh, process and raise the rear. And uh, that way I can get the truck. See what I do is I get the truck either way up a little bit so I don't have to take it up all the way in the hoist because uh, you really can't get underneath it. So this truck will get greased, oil changed, tire rotation, and uh, check the antifreeze, the transmission. Uh, this truck is due for a uh, transmission filter. So I'll be changing the filter on this one also. Um, every two winters, these trucks don't get many, many miles, but the, uh, my snowplow trucks get their transmission filters changed uh, every every other year. Uh, I've done them since I've done it that way, and I've only in probably two transmission failures out of about 30, uh, 33 years, and both of them were pump problems where the pump cracked, and it wasn't really a transmission's fault. Uh, we don't usually lose them for uh, burning the transmissions up. We never let the oil get burnt, and we put a new transmission filter there. And, of course, we put some uh, Lucas in with when we do it. So, all right. Hey, it's not really short. Almost four minutes. I'll see you soon. Hopefully, these videos come out in a little better order than when I've been doing them. I haven't had time to sit down and put them up. I'll get some up soon. Thanks for everybody stopping in. Enjoy your weekend.